Hello beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. In today's reading we're going to look into a call from above. So any messages from the higher realms that are trying to reach you, that are trying to find their way to you. So we're going to bring them through and I, as I feel it now, it's going to be different messages um, coming through in one specific pile. But let's see. Let's see how it comes through. So any messages from the higher realms that are important for you to hear at this time. So if you are interested in that, I will see you in your reading. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile one, I have a message for you. And for you, pile one, the first message that comes through is flying high and seeing clearly. And this feels like a new perspective you gain or have gained upon yourself. You have lifted yourself and are being lifted um, into a higher level, a higher consciousness, a higher perspective. And you are able to see yourself a lot more clear. You are also able to look at your circumstances from a perspective that is a lot less involved in. And this is coming through in a very positive way. It's like your circumstances are less and less influencing your inner balance. So a level up on yourself, being lifted higher, and also it's a co-creation here also. You have met the your guidance halfway, and which meant you were taking the first steps and the higher realms, your guidance has lifted you into a new level, I feel, in here. I get like a checkpoint also. So actually from within a game, it's this, where you are, you have reached a new checkpoint and from there you can start a new level in the game. And when I say it like that, it also comes together with this, there is a certain distance or you are less involved in what happens um, to you, what happens around you. It doesn't shake you out of balance anymore. So there has become um, a healthy distance. I am not the victim of my circumstances. That is what, behi what is behind this here, which also brings through the experience of being in a game rather than being trapped in life. So a lot less identification with circumstances that are unpleasant. gemstones and I felt that already before I started um, you are connected you probably are have a strong connection with gemstones if not then the gemstones um, resonate easily with your energy
I also feel in here green fingers so connected to the plant world and very this also resonates a lot with you hmm. carers for the land I also hear here planetary carers of the land planetary carers of the earthly, earthly realms and also this like the gemstones that are very that easily vibrate or resonate with your energy also plants easily vibrate with your energy so gardening is some is an act that is very healthy for you that is something that you will also feel very passionate about you will feel at home amongst plants amongst nature in general but i really feel specifically in here and see the green fingers also so very connected with the plant world You are also able to, we all do this, no, but it also comes through here as a message for you to become aware of that your exchange with the land is significant. And with the gemstones also, there is this exchange of energy that has been highlighted here. With this higher perspective that you are gaining now upon yourself, you also become more and more aware of how to say this you become aware of your unique traits in a sense your unique characteristics your unique qualities your unique talents your gifts so altogether a more clear view on your blueprint there is a beautiful connection um, I, I've, I'm trying to find the words because I feel with you, in you, around you. So a beautiful connection from you with your surroundings. And also becoming more and more aware of that, this, this exchange of energy, which is it's something that is happening all the time. Whatever we do, wherever we go, also in nature, everything has a certain vibration, a certain frequency. And you are becoming more and more aware of this exchange that is happening between you and your surroundings, which can be people, places, circumstances. So you are gaining perspective into that also. Which might also be literal, that you are starting to see the exchange of energy. And it comes through, so I'm going to say it. It's this, this simple exercise of putting your fingers together, opening them, and then um, seeing the, the line of energy that is running through your 
fingers. And for some this is really a message also that you are gaining more vision into the, the unseen. It's not unseen, but it's unseen for most. So starting to see actually the energetic waves that are running everywhere and that are running between you and your surroundings. Within you also. The planet Mars is significant for some also here. And this is about your, maybe it's, it's interesting to look into your bird chart and to see where your Mars is placed. Or if there are certain um, astrological events that are happening that are connected to Mars. But it's also a, a drive Mars is its drive, its passion, its going for something. So also with gaining this new perspective upon yourself, you find more drive to go for something. Maybe you become conscious of <clears throat> what is actually driving you. Maybe this was unknown for you before. So this becomes a lot more clear. This is really an invitation um, for someone or for some to look into your birth chart. There is something significant in there that is asking for you to look into. Mars is involved here, your moon is also involved here. And it's a blind spot in a sense. For some this is um, specifically to look into the connection between your moon and your Mars. And for others, I feel in here, if you have no idea where to look, to just take your bird, bird chart in front of you and look at what is catching your attention. And then go into research or connect, sit with this, meditate on this. Because there is certain information also with the moon that is, it's a new moon that is coming through here. So this is, it's a, it's a dark moon and it feels like there is a blind spot in there somewhere or there is a blind spot within you which might become clear if you take the time to higher perspective that was a plane i don't know if you hear if you heard it but what did i say gaining Flying higher and gaining perspective. Don't remember how it came through. Anyway, the plane reminded me of that message. So the new moon is... It's a blind spot that it might be a blind spot within you. And by looking at your chart, feeling into what's triggering you and meditating on that or going into re research, might show you something that was blind for you, that you were blind to before. This is a very fertile season for you. 
seeds. It's a very fertile season for you and seeds that are planted before are, are showing up, are sprouting. And also a very good time to keep on planting conscious seeds wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you think, whatever you feel. To be conscious about the seeds that you are planting with your presence which is the presence with yourself, the presence with your guidance, the presence with your surroundings. The animal allies also come through here. And it was already there, this planetary healer of the earthly realms. So it's a, an exchange between you and the plants. There is an exchange between you and the gemstones. And there is also a strong connection and a strong exchange between you and the animal world. So plants, animals and gems are jumping out here for you. There is a beautiful innocence also that is coming through with you and that your guidance also highlights here to stay very connected with that innocent part of yourself. Especially when you are, when you are thinking very black and white. So if you would still get into identification with and you realize from yourself that you are thinking very black and white, the way out of there is connecting to your innocence. It's an easy way for you. It's a very natural way for you to get out of black and white thinking. The innocence that is there and then also this being in nature, being in the land, being among animals, being among creatures, the gemstones. It all feels very pure and very innocent. And that part of you here is also been highlighted as an invitation for you to keep on connecting with that part and also connect even more with that part within you. Also the connection um, or the present, your presence in nature, your presence with animals, your presence with gemstones, also um, triggers, triggers is not the right word here, but it it also brings you into that innocent place. So it's two ways. You can go into nature, which brings you into this innocent place within. Or you can also tap into your innocence by yourself. Which also has an influence on your surroundings. So it's this beautiful connection that I felt already in the beginning, this beautiful um, how to say this, synergy in a sense, beautiful exchange between you and, but it's all working together, it's all nicely flowing in a beautiful balanced way.
I hear divine love. Divine love. Infinity is here. Infinite divine love, which might be helpful words for you. Infinite divine love, which also connects again to this beautiful, pure innocence. Union is here, infinite, infinity, divine love, union, infinite divine love in union. Infinite divine love in union creates a base and a gateway into crystalline light. There is divine perfection in here and divine reflection. So we have this divine love, divine perfection, divine reflection. And then this crystalline light. And again, I feel in here this, you becoming conscious of this exchange of energy with your surroundings. Also an activation of your own crystalline light or an amplification of your own crystalline light. A connection also from you with crystalline light, with, a, with the source that is pouring crystalline light within you, which enhances your experience of being in divine love, being divine love, being in divine perfection, being divine perfection, and being offered a, re a divine reflection, and also being a divine reflection for your surroundings, to reflect to your surroundings the divinity that is present within all. You are blessed. You are blessed. So also that an experience of yourself where you where you feel truly blessed or an, an ex enhancement of your experience of being blessed. And also blessings arriving to you and your ability to see the blessing in, in a lot more than you were able to see before.
I'm being pulled again to this fiery energy from Mars with this. So blessed, being blessed. For some, this is the house placement where your Mars is located. You will feel blessed in that specific area. But there is also a message in here of being blessed in the sense of whatever you feel passionate about, whatever you feel driven to do, to go for, blessings are arriving in that area also for you. And mainly the experience, you will feel very blessed in that area. And you will also feel very blessed about the drive that is present within you, to experience that drive, to experience that fire, to experience that enthusiasm, to go for something or to have found something that you are so passionate about. Soul love. And we had already divine love. And now also soul love. What I feel in here is your soul that is experiencing more and more its true nature, which is love, divine love. And all together you are coming into this experience of leveling up, seeing yourself from a, from a higher perspective. And this comes together with your soul that is your soul that is being in love, your soul that is experiencing more and more of its true nature, of what it truly is. And spending a lot more time in this truth. Which is your soul being in love, your soul being love and joy. So I feel a lot of positivity in here in this pile. The higher realms are really bringing through an experience for you that is, it's not only a level up in consciousness, it's not only a level up um, within yourself, but it's this experience that is feeling a lot higher and feeling a lot lighter and feeling a lot more joyful. Which is a blessing. A big blessing. Okay, my dear beautiful pile one, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile two, I have a message for you. And for you, pile two, the first message that is here for you is racing winds. I also get the image of a falcon, which is, it's a messenger on its own, but the, 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 the speed of his flight is also really highlighted here. So racing winds, a lot of fast messages. So a lot of messages are 
coming to you, you are receiving a lot of guidance, you are receiving a lot of insights, your mind is very intelligent, highly intelligent mind, your mind is capable of receiving and translating messages in a very intelligent way and in a very fast way. And there is an invitation in so also in here of, <coughs> excuse me, there is an invitation also in here to, to drop your defense according to the information that is trying to reach you. To allow, to allow the messages to come to you. Because I feel some resistance in here also. Drop your defense and let it flow, I hear. And with this mind, this very intelligent mind, you probably have struggled with and also still struggle with an over analytical mind, which a lot of times comes together with this high intelligent that is intelligence that is there. But there is this, if you go into surrender, drop your defense and let it flow, you are opening your mind to receive from the higher mind. So overanalyzing is the human mind that is very focused on the human experience. On the, tr on the 3D world, on a, on a dense reality, while from a place of connection, from a place of opening, receiving, higher wisdom, higher knowledge, and then using your mind as a tool to receive and to translate. And the receiving, hmm. okay, so I'm being pulled here to the, some say the, this is really on the physical level, some say that the brain is the mind and some say that the heart is the mind and I feel in here if you are struggling with a with an over analytical human mind to use your heart as the receiver of But a human mind can be aligned with the divine mind. It can be aligned with that higher mind. But again, if you are struggling with over-analyzing, -anal then it's good for you to focus on your heart and to receive into your heart. And drop your defense. Trap your defense and let it flow. You are receiving sacred geometry. 
consciously and or unconsciously. Certain star systems are involved with the receptance or with the receiving of this sacred geometry. And in your human experience, it can be helpful, very helpful for you to, to do stargazing, which also naturally opens you up to receive sacred geometry when you are in this meditative state of gazing into the stars. Also, when you are dreams, you are receiving a lot of sacred geometry. You might also use sacred geometry in something that you do already or will do in the future. I feel Reiki in here also for some. The symbols of Reiki. But not only Reiki, it's energetic healing practices, which goes a lot more wide. Reiki is, it's been put into a box, which is unnecessary, so it's energetical healing with the use of certain symbols, with the use of sacred geometry. If you are struggling with physical ailments, then you are receiving healing, energetical healing from star beings in your dreams, also by stargazing. This is very healing for you, very helpful for you. And these geometrical, uh, this sacred geometry is easily being perceived by you consciously and or unconsciously if you are if this is unconscious you will become conscious of this There is an invitation for you to acknowledge how far you have come. To don't forget to take to take time on a regular basis to acknowledge yourself. But you are also being acknowledged by so the higher realms are acknowledging you. But in the first place, you have to acknowledge yourself. And also there might be some resistance on that. If you feel resistance to acknowledge yourself, that's an invitation to look into and to ask yourself, why do I feel resistant to acknowledge myself? If you go into connection with your guidance and ask, show me, Why am I resistant? And it will be shown to you. Shown or you will receive an answer to your question. A lot is happening in your dream time. Might be helpful for you to write down your dreams, to keep a dream journal.
And if you do that already or, or do that in certain periods of your life, there is an invitation in here to look into a certain dream. Let me clarify this. To look into a certain dream. And this is related to this. This is for anyone who feels this resistance to acknowledgement. Resistance to acknowledge yourself. You had a dream. You had it already, which gave you an answer also on that why you are resistant to acknowledge yourself. It's been given to you already. This information has come to you already in a dream. So if you forgot about that, you can also just go back into connection and connect with your guidance and ask, show me. Or ask to show it to you again in your dream. And then also put the intention that you want to remember the dream. But a lot is happening in your dream state. And again, to this racing winds, you are receiving a lot, a lot of information. And a lot of important information also. A lot of helpful information for you and others. There is something unexpected on the horizon for you in your very near future. It's in your surroundings already at this moment and it's something very unexpected. I'm gonna, I want to dig a little if I get some clarity about this unexpected, but I get also the new moon, which is a dark moon. So I mainly feel in here it has to stay a dark spot for now. A dark spot in the sense of it's not... We cannot get in any information from there. Or it is related to a certain new moon. What is this wild card? The Five of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands with this unexpected that is hanging in your surroundings at this time. Let me get one more here. And the Ten of Pentacles. This is something... Something tangible that you felt in lack of before which you will now feel which will completely turn around into there is there is a sense in here of um, jackpot I feel in here 
um, with the wild card also. And with the lovers, it's it can be a, a partner or a, a a union with someone. It's a possibility, but I mainly feel in your destiny. Something that is destined for you. And it will also, it will allow you to make certain choices that you were unable to make before. And with this, I leave this unexpected that is hanging in your surroundings because I want to go a little bit deeper in other messages here. There is a lot of change on your horizon. A lot of change on your horizon and also an invitation in here to say no to whatever does not reflect the blessing that you are. And this also feels related with this being able to acknowledge yourself. So there is something there also. So whatever shows up for you, I didn't want to go in there anymore, but this unexpected that is hanging in your surroundings, which will allow you to make choices that you were unable to make before. In there also make sure that the choices that you make resonate with the blessing that you are. And they come from a place of acknowledgement of yourself. There is change, there is progress. There is manifestation also in here. Which again, I didn't want to go in there, but still I get more messages about that. So it's important for you to hear that there is manifestation in your presence. Ride this wave. So again, I'm coming back to this, drop your defense and let it flow. So whatever messages, whatever insights, whatever information is coming to you, allow it to come to you and ride this wave because you, you are on a very destined wave or will step into a very destined wave. I am 4848. I am is coming through also for you. So this can be very healing, very centering, 
very peaceful, very resonating with your energy also to meditate or to sit with I am, I am that I am, the I am presence. Reflection is coming through also in here. So there are certain... What is this reflection? You have a lot of nines also here. So these are endings also with the five, the change that is here. You are on the precipice of a big change here. And this reflection, I am a reflection. The first message in here is to reflect on what it does with you when you connect with this I am presence. But there is also a message in here that this I am presence will be more and more reflected back to you. And also an invitation to reflect the I am presence into your surroundings wherever you go with whomever you interact. Let me go a little bit here in this reflection and then I'm going to leave you with this. Strength is coming through here, and again this, it feels like a big thing for you to really acknowledge yourself. Or a big invitation in here to really acknowledge yourself. And to see yourself, to identify with this I am presence, which brings you in an experience of unconditional love. and which aligns you more and more with this destiny. And this I am presence also with this overactive mind, the overactive human mind when you are in that state, to come back to this I am presence. There is a stillness in there. There is a peace in there. There is an unconditional love in there. It's all the essence of the I am presence. So connect with that. Reflect on that. Sit in that space of I am. I am that I am. Okay, my dear, beautiful pile two, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. 
Hello beautiful souls, divine beings, welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile 3, I have a message for you. And for you, pile 3, the first thing that I receive for you is beacon of light. So, you are a beacon of light, but you are also receiving a beacon of light. It's like you are receiving this, it's a beam of light, in a sense, a shower of light. So light shining on you, shining in you, shining through you. There is a sense of protection in here also, protected by the light. And an authenticity, <clears throat> an authenticity is also in here. So, being able to shine in your full authenticity, allowing yourself to shine in your full authenticity, feeling strengthened by this beacon of light to step even more into your authenticity, feeling very protected also while you are expressing your authenticity, And with this authenticity, it's also like some kind of... I feel a very strong warrior also in here. And the, the fighting warrior, the battling warrior, the struggling warrior is kind of calming down. by standing even more in that, or shining even more in your authenticity. So there is a, an, a sense of shape-shifting in here, a sense of shape-shifting. It's not completely shape-shifting because your essence is still there, but... And the warrior is also still there, but the fighting spirit is cooling down by the allowance of shining more in your authenticity and this shining more in your authenticity it's still very strong and it's still very potent but it's a lot more peaceful than the fighting warrior so a lot more peace within you the experience of peace within you coming together with these warrior wounds that have been healed and you are experiencing the difference now. You experience the healing of the wounds which comes together with this, this warrior that was in, in fighting mode and then there is healing taking, taking place has taken place and is taking place and you are experiencing the difference this inner peace again Triskelion might be significant for you
you are in the process of creating something which will lead to very fruitful results. And it's something that is in the beginning stages of So you are taking care of the of the nourishment that this seed needs. But it's a very promising seed project I hear for most of you something in the beginning stages of I hear destined to unfold in beauty within this also <clears throat> whatever this is it's important to honor all the stages that it needs. It's like when you plant a seed, um, you cannot expect that it will sprout immediately. So to honor all the stages of But what you are doing here is very beautiful. There is this, again, this beacon of light, what is coming through here, which is also being nourished together with all the other nourishment that you are giving to this seed. And this beam, this beacon of light carries this promise of destined to unfold in beauty. Your inner peace that is enhanced now also has a very positive effect on this project, this seed. The healing that is taking place, or the healing that has taken place, has the biggest effect on your root and sacral chakra. Root, sacral and solar. So red, orange, yellow. The, the areas in your life that are connected with these chakras with these energy points are very much affected by your healing and they feel they feel very balanced now or a lot more in balance There is stability in here, there is stability in the material world, there is stability in your emotions, and there is stability in your creativity. There is a sense of anger that was potent, again I hear, that was very potent before, which also has been alchemized 
into something different. So you become aware that anger that you had before is not there anymore. It has been alchemized, which all comes together with this big healing that is taking place, has taken place. I feel for you there is, you're gonna feel very different on a physical level. Your experience of being in your physical body is, is changing. You are going through a metamorphose there. Have been going through and still going through. And there is... There is a different experience for you of being in your physical vessel. This beacon of light This beacon of light is also inviting you to connect more to the beacon of light And as it's been shown here it's this it's God or spirit your guidance that is raining a light on you, showering light on you and inviting you to be open for that. And this is something that naturally easily resonates with the energy that you are in in this present moment. So where you are now, it's, it's easy for you. It's in your vibrational match to imagine this beacon of light, this shower of light, this beam of light. Nourishing you, f filling you up. This something that you, this seed, this project, whatever it is that you are, that is now in the beginning phase of, there will be a significant shift or there is a possibility for a significant shift and starting to see the results of in the fall. Whenever you see this reading, the fall that is um, the first fall following whenever you see this reading. And the seeds from this project are traveling far. So they will impact far They will have an impact beyond where you create, where you are laying the foundations of. And I also feel in here the seeds are traveling with the wind so there is also something about you or other people speaking about whatever this is that is now in the beginning stages of and it will it will travel by mouth it will travel by breath
so people will speak about what you are doing. It will be spoken about <clears throat> in a positive way. It's interesting how this comes through here. Can say this the seeds are, are traveling with the wind and it's you or this this whatever this is project it's leaving a trail also. So there is a big impact with this. People are speaking about it, which makes it travel in the in, in, in front and then in the back behind it it's leaving a trail so this has an impact on there is an, a big interest in whatever this is and the consequences of it are also leaving leaving a trail So whatever you are working on, whatever this is, it's very promising. It's very promising and it feels big also this. Like I say there is a there is a big impact with this. But again, very important for you to honor all the phases that, it's, that it needs to develop in a very natural way. Allow this to flow in a very natural way and in its own time. I'm being pulled to a reading that I did quite some time ago here um, about something that was completely out of the box, something that was completely new, new that you never saw before and that you felt inspired to. You got some ideas, you got some information, information you got some insights, you got inspired to do something which you never saw before. And I feel that in here. This is something that is out of the box. So if you saw that reading and you are now in the beginning stages of building this, then I'm very grateful to see this because it feels like, it feels very connected to that reading. I have no idea which, which reading it was. It was, otherwise I would I would link it under. But like I said, this is something that is very much out of the box, that is very new for a lot of people. And as it came through there, it was something that a lot of people would not understand in the beginning up until that it would have been created and then they would understand. So whatever this is, again, this is something that is really out of the box. This is something new for many. But it's not new for you on a soul level. You have worked with this before. And you started to remember, you went to, through a process of remembering um, the knowledge, according to this, 
you have received information that made it clear to you that this is what you have to do. So if you, if you still would have moments of doubt according to this, then know that this is something that is very, very promising. And it is what you are supposed to do in this moment. And it's possible, it's not, not even, it's possible for sure you will get uh, comments from people who will try to break this down because it's so much out of the box. But don't let this take you off your track because this is really what you need to do in this moment. Yeah, you will get some sticky comments according to this or had already. But try to see through that. Don't let this take you off track. It's just because a lot of people judge what they don't know. And a lot of people fear what they don't know. So just keep on going and... Forgive them, they don't know what they do. Forgive them, they don't know what they say. I mainly feel in here sticky words, um, spiky words more, not sticky, spiky words. So if you would take it personally, it might hurt, but put yourself, be the bigger person there and just understand that if people throw spiky words at you, According to something that is new, then just know that is it's fear. It's their own fear that is speaking, which is okay. It's also not something to judge. It's just seeing through that and having compassion for that, understanding where it comes from, and just keep going. Stay on track with this. The beacon of light is coming back here, so this whole project, whatever this is, when the time is right, when this will come to full fruition, also this will create some kind of beacon of light for others. But again, it needs its time and give it the time it needs. Just keep on taking steps, whatever you, you can, and allow it to naturally grow in the time that it needs. There is also a little message in here that comes through and I'm just gonna, gonna say it like it comes through that um, the, the ones who were the loudest with their sticky, uh, spiky words will, will become the most silent when they see the beacon of light that you are building or that you have been building by that moment. So also they will... they will see it differently 
when when this comes to full fruition and it, the fact that it comes through like that means that it's important for someone to know this might be someone that is close to you that is trying to to get, to take this idea out of your mind out of concern possible So, just have compassion and understand where it comes from. The master builder. Again, you are building something, something big here. Something that is a beacon of light for others. And something that will be very healing for others also. But in the same time, you are also now, you went through this healing, healing is still taking place within you. And will keep on taking place also while you go through the steps of creating this, whatever this is. So healing will keep on taking place within you. But... This, this project, will also be very healing for others at the moment that it comes to full fruition. But also for, I don't know if there are other people involved at this stage. Maybe. At some stage for sure there will also be other people involved with the building of, if not yet. And this is the building of is very healing for all involved. So the building process of it is a healing process for all involved and the coming to full fruition will be very healing for all. For all who come in contact with this. This might literally be for some, um, some kind of healing practice, something that has an effect on the physical body. Also, that came through with you in the beginning, right? Your experience in your physical body is changing completely. So you are going through something and this project, whatever you are in the beginning phase of, is like also um, it's like a, a reflection of that in a sense so your own individual process is in here and then it will be built into something that then can serve others I hear necessary for humanity. So again, this, the master builder that is coming through here and the feeling that I had already, this is something big, something big with a big impact. Breaking the norm. Something that is lifting you and all involved and all who come in contact with it might also be an acceleration of a healing process again within the physical body something that you create that accelerates a healing process If you have certain um, 
insights or certain ideas or um, anything involved with this and you feel doubtful about sharing that or not, then keep it for you until the moment that you feel that it's okay to share. Because your intuition is very much on point according to this. There are certain things that is, um, it's better to keep it for you up until this comes to a certain stage. And this comes together with this, this spiky comments that are there. Because you get certain ideas and if you then share that with someone who goes into a fear reaction or a fear response according to that it it can trigger your doubt and it can it can slow your progress in this so i feel in here it's your intuition is really on point and your intuition was already telling you this is okay to share and this is better to keep for you for now so keep on listening to that Keep on listening to that and also the beam of the beacon of light and the beam of light is coming through here again with this invitation. Keep on connecting. Keep on allowing this shower to come over you. And if you are doubtful about something to share it or not, then just connect also with that beacon of light. And once you are in that beacon of light, you will your, your intuition will also be amplified, so you will very clearly know this is okay to share and this is not okay to share. When is it okay to share and when is it not okay to share? With whom it's okay to share, with whom it's not okay to share. And one small message here coming together with all of this is open up your heart space. Allow your heart to be open. And again, coming back to these spiky comments, just see through that and love, love another anyhow, anyhow how they react to you, whatever they they say to you. See through that and and stay in your open heart space. Don't let this close your heart. Just be open. See through it. Forgive them. They don't know what they do. They don't know what they say. And like I like I say, for some it really feels like these comments are coming in in the first place, they are coming from a place of concern. For some, for some that loved ones or people that are close to you, they are worried that you might um, fail in this and then um, and then be very disappointed. But this is their perspective on you. So just let it be and also according to them tap in what should i share what should i not share just keep on connecting with yourself keep on connecting with your guidance and this beacon of light that you are and that you are receiving okay my dear beautiful pile tree this is what i have for you I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one. Hello, beautiful souls, divine beings. Welcome in this lovely space with me. Whomever chose pile four, I have a message for you. And for you, pile four, the first message that I receive for you is active prayer 
spinning you ahead or active prayer spiraling you ahead. So there is a strong sense in here of prayer. So an invitation to pray or a prayer that you have or had that is now moving you, spinning you, spiral, spiraling you ahead. So if you are stuck somewhere, an invitation to go into prayer. And I also feel in here to, if the concept of prayer is not clear for you, to go into that, to look into that through prayer. There is a strong sense of ritual also in here, ceremony. Holy smoke, I also see. The, the drawings of the smoke, the, the figures that are being formed in the smoke, they can carry messages for you. Your energy where you are now, your frequency where you are now, is very receptive to receive messages through smoke. The candle, staring in the candle, is also in here. And it's all coming back to a, it's all a meditative state, right? If we are staring into a candle, if we are um, sitting in front of a fire, staring into the fire, if you were, we are looking into the smoke that comes from the fire, it brings you in, an, in a meditative state. And you are very receptive now to receive messages, insights, inspiration with the tool of smoke and with the tool of prayer. I have to, when I say tool of prayer, there is some kind of resistance, but this is coming personally from me because prayer is not, it's not a tool. It can be used as a tool, but prayer for me, it's straight connection, communion with God. This is prayer, through prayer, as it resonates with me, but this is very personal. So that's, I have to put that in between there, that it's also interesting that it comes through like that, because I said in the beginning, look into what does prayer actually mean to you? What is that? It's not asking for please do this, please do that. It's, it's, it's gratitude, it's communion with God. It's being in the presence of God, Source, Spirit and commune. So I had to put that in between, that prayer is not a tool, it's a language. But this is my personal interpretation of it. So prayer is, is very highlighted here for you, it's very significant for you here. And ceremony, ritual, and the smoke. I also feel in here the if you have certain questions, if you have certain um, issues that you are dealing with and you you can't seem to find your way out, then all these these tools that I just said, besides the prayer, are very helpful for you to to find answers, to receive answers. As it's been shown to me here is you are you are you have a specific question and then there is smoke which makes certain shapes and these shapes carry the answers for you.
I feel a strong invitation in here from your guidance to connect with them. Again, this the ceremony that is here. unexpected energy that is in your field at this moment and I'm gonna clarify what this is metamorphosis is also here so you are going through a big transformation here a big metamorphosis that is wild card what is this about The Hermit and the Empress. So, active prayer spinning you ahead with the wild card, with the Hermit and with the Empress. This is this going into prayer as a a very significant, a very big effect right now, where you are right now. So being in your hermit mode is the connection to God, Source, Spirit. And with the Empress, it is, is, it's creating a lot of abundance. And it's also be because this unexpected, I was, I wanted to clarify this unexpected energy. So this it's coming back to, to the beginning, the active prayer that is spinning you ahead is this unexpected energy. A lot of unexpected blessings can come to you now through active prayer. And, and the Emperor, wow, this is big energy, right? The Hermit, the Empress and the Emperor. And then the Ten of Swords underneath, metamorphosis, a big transformation. So something big here is transforming in your life, in this, around this time. And your invitation in here is to spend time in active prayer. Or it's coming through if you have spent a lot of time already in active prayer, then there is something, something big um, hanging around you at this moment. Very abundant energy. Very abundant energy. Which is also an invitation for you to, wherever you are, if you feel this message is for you, to spend a lot of time in this active prayer while allowing yourself to, to be in this abundant energy, to experience this abundant energy. The flame is here, the fire and the smoke again, ceremony sacred fire, holy smoke, ancestors also in here, ancestors that want to communicate with you, that want to connect with you, that want to, to remember or awaken the remembrance within you about 
whatever is important for you at this moment. The medicine wheel. So a lot, a lot of ceremony in here. A very sacred energy that is hanging here. The new moon, she came out in, uh, in two other piles also, but in all the piles with a different, with a different message, with a different energy. For you, humanity is also here. For you, this feels like spending time in prayer now will allow you to see something that is related to to a mission it's related to the mission that you are supposed to go on in this moment so ceremony with that intention can be very clarifying for you so going into whatever ceremony is resonating with you and going in there with the intention of show me show me what is my mission in this moment show me what I need to do in this moment show me what is my next best step to take in this moment and it's more than just the best the next best step there is there is information that wants to come through to you about a mission that will involve quite a big amount of your time on in this lifetime from here on and this information wants to come through to you And with the new moon here also, it's like there it's a blind spot in a sense. It's the dark moon. So you are not seeing this clearly in this moment. That's also why the invitation for ceremony comes through so strong and why also your guidance is coming through with this big invitation of connect with us, commune with us. But there is also something new a new phase in your life wants to unfold, wants to commence, wants to start. The eye of Horus, I hear. I'm seeing an eye here and I hear the eye of Horus. So this might be significant for you. Union is also here. And the cave. So with this union, I mainly feel this is about union with your guidance with God, so a spirit, again with this hermit that is also here, being in silence with yourself and commune, the prayer, commune, language, speaking with God, so a spirit, whatever you connect to.
And this ceremony, the way I put it down also, the ceremony or the invitation that is in here for the ceremony or for the prayer that is in here is... Um, with the purpose of bringing you in union with your mission, with this specific mission, to align you with that. to align you with that and it's this is something that is very I feel hope in here so there is a part of you that is kind of like hoping for this so there is a, a wish involved in here or your your experience of wishing for this And now your guidance wants to align you with this. Something will come to light. Wish upon a star. I was thinking it while I said something you were wishing for. I was I felt this wish upon a star. So your guidance really, the higher realms also here, really want to align you with this, with your wish upon a star. And there is a lot of hope that is hanging around there. And the, the fact that it comes through as hope also feels like this is something that is, it has, it has a place in your heart. It's a, a dream that you have for yourself. And something will come to light again. There is this blind spot which wants to come through. By ceremony or by all the things I said before. Your mission is calling you. This mission is calling you. We have here give in to it, you know you want to, as above so below, and frequency, waves, vibration, energy. So with the give in to it, you know you want it. And also that the ceremony comes through so strong and the invitation for communion, for connection, there might be some resistance or fear to step into this new path, to step into your mission, to step into your purpose or part of your purpose. Yeah, there might be some insecurity involved here. The invitation for you to stand in your strength and to stand in your courage.
but your soul is really again with this hope and this wish upon a star this is something that you truly want but to step in there it feels like you have to come out of your comfort zone and you have to like conquer something there and this conquer something there it feels like something internal which why also the ceremony comes through so strong which can also clear out that that obstacle that you have put there in front of it in front of the way to it As above, so below. What I mainly feel in here is again the ceremony that is so highlighted here. The, the need to be in balance. To need to be, the need to be in balance and the, the, the need to be in the, in the frequency and the vibration as your wish upon a star. which is a little blocked by the obstacle that is standing in between there. I do feel for some this is this is past you went through this already you went through this already and that's what I said in the beginning or you you are invited to go into this prayer or you have been doing that already and now you you are something is spinning you ahead so for some I feel this everything I said now is a past energy where you went through and now you are spinning ahead as a consequence of your prayer and of everything you did. You are now being aligned and have aligned yourself also with the frequency as your wish upon a star. But for all, there is something that wants to be put into the light for you. Something wants to be illuminate, illuminated for you. Which opens up this road into your mission. Which aligns you, with, which brings you in union with this mission. And then I come back to the smoke, to the, to the flame, to the gazing in the fire. This is very helpful for, for all of you. And what, whatever might still be in, in between you and this union with, alignment with your mission will come to you in this meditative state. So yeah, again, I get here these two, two storylines. One where it's... Um, where there is really still an obstacle in between that wants to be cleared out by, by ceremony. And then for others, new ways are opening up already. So it's two different storylines in here.
and I'm being pulled again to the give in to it, you know you want to. So this, or it's fear, or it's some kind of insecurity, which might so show up in both scenarios. But to step through that insecurity, you are being invited to, to, to embody your adventurous spirit. This, this spirit within you that is excited for something new. And I said this before, exci excitement and fear have the same, can be felt within the physical body as the same experience, can be experienced the same within the body. So fear and excitement brings into the body the same experience. So also seeing that and, and knowing that it's normal when you do something new, that there is some kind of nervousness within you. And then you can translate that as being fear or you can see this as being excitement. So you are invited in there, you are invited there to see that from that perspective and to also step into your, your adventurer your that part of yourself that wants to di discover new things that wants to to explore explore discover being very enthusiastic doing something new doing something different feeling inspired feeling excited Okay, my dear, beautiful pile four, this is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it was helpful and I'm sending lots of love, lots of light, lots of peace and blessings for each and every one.